A very pleasant day, friends. Welcome to another edition of Auto Review. I'm Ron de los Reyes, and uh, today we bring you the Stargazer from Hyundai. This vehicle was made available to the market in uh, late uh, 2022. And then we joined a media drive in Cebu province. We had a great time uh, driving it uh, on various road conditions, and we even uh, passed the Cordoba uh, Bridge, which is the longest uh, bridge in, in Cebu. It's a beautiful experience. The Stargazer is also known as the little brother of uh, the big van Staria. But uh, even if this is a minivan, it can seat seven people. And uh, look at the design of the, this vehicle. It's very modern and uh, I like the grille and also the headlights. And it also has the daytime running lights. If you notice this design, it's like a moon. So you start here, it has a short uh, hood but then uh, this goes up there's a good headroom for the front the occupants and then the largest headroom will be for the second row passengers but I also noticed that even if you're seated on the third row uh, you also get your share of uh, the, the headroom a lot of space actually inside and look at the tires provides uh, a sporty elegant look for the Stargazer. And at the back, this uh, vehicle is very consistent because it has this long red uh, taillight, which is very visible at night. Uh, in fact, uh, when we drove at the Cordoba Bridge in Cebu, I appreciated it more because of uh, the visibility it gives to the motorists at the rear so this is the name of uh, this particular model the stargazer and if you lift this up okay you have space here for small bags even if uh, all the seats are up and you have the tools on this right side good compartment uh, here at the rear so if you need more space for your luggage all you have to do is pull this up and then put it down okay more space oh this can be reclined huh? this can be reclined the seat uh, uh, on the third row but if you need more space for the luggage you create a lot of space also This one folds flat and I think if you're my height, you can easily slide on this space and get some rest. Okay, we barely noticed uh, some other uh, amenities of uh, this seven-seater SUV. If you're seated here, you have access to this cup holder and also maybe another uh, bottle and you can put your cell phone here. And this is good because you have a power outlet right here. You just need an adapter. Designers of uh, the Stargazer have also thought of many conveniences uh, for the occupants of this car. Closing this is also very easy. You just have to... And uh, you see the, again <laughs> the very good design at the rear of uh, the Stargazer. The interior of uh, the Stargazer fascinates me because you have uh, just enough headroom for the driver and front passenger. 
but in the middle you get uh, a lot of headroom uh, for the rear uh, passenger and of course I like also the seat configuration you can uh, pull the uh, backrests uh, at the back and provide more room for your uh, luggage or that is if you need uh, space for your uh, things in front I like the stick shift or this uh, shift uh, lever because of the shape uh, it's very comfortable to to hold uh, especially on, on long drives and you also have controls for the audio entertainment uh, system on the steering wheel which is uh, very nice to, to to hold very comfortable and then you have uh, controls for cruise uh, control and then over here you have controls for the side mirrors and then uh, central door lock also controls for the uh, for all the windows this vehicle doesn't have a uh, moonroof or a sunroof but that's okay i like it that way because sometimes when you have a, a sunroof it uh, also takes some time to cool the whole uh, vehicle now you have some modern storage uh, for, the, for the vehicle like uh, this one you just press this and then you have this small storage for your RFID some coins maybe and you also have uh, space here for maybe a cell phone things that you, you need uh, to get right away here you also have a USB uh, outlet the controls for, for the air conditioning system and then you have the ADAS this is I think on the top of the line uh, model of uh, the Stargazer Nung una, I was expecting uh, to have a uh, electronic brake uh, system and I didn't notice that uh, it's here <laughs> it's just here except that it is on the right side normally it's on the driver's side so that's okay and then you also have uh, storage here for your bottles at least two very comfortable uh, seats uh, leather seats for this particular model you also have uh, aircon vents for the driver and the passenger aside from the front air vents that you have here and also for the rear passenger so it's easy to cool this uh, vehicle i like the uh, configuration of uh, this vehicle in the interior and i'm impressed with uh, the design and the engineering they they put into uh, this seven-seater minivan all right uh, we put some uh, baggage earlier in this area so we folded the back seat now we are going to put this up there very easy let's check out the space here on the second row this is good for three persons I was there earlier so I still have a lot of uh, leg room and then it has safety belts for all three occupants here in the middle row okay if you're in the middle don't worry because you're also provided with a three-point uh, seat belt the floor is uh, relatively flat so you feel comfortable us sitting here in the middle and then you have USB outlets for two uh, right here in this uh, console and if you're only uh, two passengers on the second row you have this wide armrest so this is very comfortable on the on the long drive ang maganda rin dito it has a tray for the passenger here and then uh, you have some pockets right here so this is good let's try the seat at the back this is flip and tumble and you get access to the third row at least uh, two or three kids can uh, be accommodated here at, uh, at the back two in front three in the middle and two or three at the back actually only two here in the third row for a maximum of seven passengers or occupants of the car 
And even if you're here on the third row, there is still a lot of headroom for the passenger. Here's our car price watch for the Hyundai Stargazer. If you enjoyed uh, watching this uh, video, please tune in also to our YouTube channel, Auto Review Philippines, where we uploaded several other uh, reviews of uh, different uh, car models. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Auto Review uh, Philippines. We're now on our 29th year, and uh, on television, we are on PTV4 nationwide, 2:30 uh, to 3 p.m. Uh, on Saturdays and we're also on uh, the other platforms like uh, YouTube, Facebook and Daily Motion. Welcome back to Auto Review on our What's New. We attend the launch of the all new Mazda CX60. And this is a beautiful uh, vehicle. It's a hybrid uh, vehicle. First time for Mazda Philippines to introduce a hybrid in the Philippines. And uh, wow, very impressive interior. And even the exterior looks are very exciting very sporty very elegant looking forward to learning more about this uh, new offering from Mazda Philippines abangan po ninyo dito sa auto review Mazda Philippines recently launched the Mazda CX60 a welcome addition to the Mazda lineup in the country It's a classy and capable crossover SUV which will surely be a standout on the road. The Mazda CX-60 is available in two engine options, a 3.3-liter turbocharged gasoline engine and a 3.3-liter turbocharged diesel engine. Both are mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission and come standard with rear-wheel drive, while the all-wheel drive is available as an option. The new crossover SUV from Mazda has a sleek and stylish exterior design. It features a large grille, swept-back headlights, and a sloping roofline. Inside, the CX-60 is spacious and exudes luxury with high-quality materials and finishes such as Napa leather upholstery and wood trim. The CX-60 also comes standard with a 10.4-inch touchscreen infotainment system, a panoramic sunroof, and a hands-free power tailgate. Most notably, the CX-60 is equipped with a comprehensive suite of safety features, including Mazda's iActiveSense safety technology. Music 
This includes adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring, and rear cross traffic alert. This large platform was something that Mazda has been working on. It's not just customer ones, although of course that's the most important about giving customer what they want, but it's also to meet the requirement of there are many aspects of sustainability issues that are changing and coming up. Right? For example, fuel economy, uh, carbon footprint, uh, and so Mazda has developed a product that not only meet those requirements, but meet a requirement that is varied across the countries or across the world. So different countries have different needs. So in Philippines, um, this product here will meet our requirement for larger capacity uh, engine. So larger capacity engine, the most logical thing that people think about is like you will have um, not as good fuel economy. But the, the, the reverse is true though, right? Master said if you expand the uh, engine capacity, you can get better fuel economy. The Mazda CX-60 is a well-equipped and luxurious SUV, which is ideal for those looking for a premium driving experience. Here's our car price watch for the all-new Mazda CX-60. The Toyota Gazoo Racing Vios Cup is back for another exciting season this July 1. The first out of three rounds for the 2023 TGR Vios Cup season kicks off this weekend at the Clark International Speedway in Pampanga. This year, the TGR Vios Cup returns with a circuit championship, but with a twist. The Toyota Vios racers will race their way to a test of durability, as endurance racing will be featured in the third leg, a first since Vios Cup started in 2014. Meanwhile, up-and-coming racers join Vios Cup veterans, and the racing event also marks the return of the Autocross Challenge, featuring social media personalities from diverse backgrounds. Race fans will also get to see a display of various Toyota GR cars, try out the TGR GT Cup racing rigs, and participate in fun activities. For more information on TGR Vios Cup, visit toyota.com.ph and follow Toyota Gazoo Racing on Facebook. The city government of Valenzuela, led by Mayor Wes Gatchalian, hosted its third auto show at Pure Gold Valenzuela Parking Grounds. This is part of the city's celebration of its remarkable 400th founding anniversary this November 12, 2023. 
Established in 2014, the Valenzuela Auto Show has become a significant highlight for auto enthusiasts in the city, showcasing an impressive array of vintage cars, custom automobiles, and a variety of product exhibits. This year's event captivated attendees with extraordinary display. Mayor Wes Gatalian emphasized that the auto show is not just a celebration of automotive excellence, but also a tribute to the exceptional talent and craftsmanship of Filipino artists who strive to unleash the potential of automobiles. For this event, uh, this is our third year of the uh, auto show and uh, it was during the pandemic. So after the pandemic, this is the, the first post-pandemic uh, um, uh, event. Natin. So we'd like to thank also JSK, to thank uh, Team Fuel and uh, One Way uh, Auto for all the support that we gave to our organization. The third Valenzuela Auto Show featured more than 100 crafted cars and was made possible through major collaborations with JSK Custom Paint and Auto Works, Clean Fuel, Pure Gold Price Club, and Motul. Also present at the press conference is attorney Bong Suntai of Clean Fuel, car racer Tyson C, and Johnson Tan. In other news, Flash Express, the fastest growing courier and logistics company in the Philippines, it speeds up its logistics transport services by purchasing additional fleets from Photon Motor Philippines. At a turnover ceremony at the Photon Motors compound at Clark Free Zone in Pampanga, Flash Express representative Liu Deng Ke acknowledged Photon not only as their transport supplier but their partner in bringing their mission to provide the best logistics service to their customers. Photon Motor Philippines General Manager Levi Santos acknowledged the commitment of Flash Express in providing quality logistics services by elevating its transportation capabilities through the additional number of Photon Tornado vehicles. And that's our show for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And we would like to thank uh, Hyundai Motors Philippines for providing us our test vehicle this week, the Hyundai Stargazer. Very practical car, very comfortable. It's, it's nice to drive it uh, almost anywhere uh, in the country. Gives you a good uh, uh, suspension. This is an ideal vehicle for families because it's a seven-seater, very spacious. And also the seats at the rear are very versatile. Until next week, at the same time here on Auto Review, this is Ron De Los Reyes saying thank you for joining us. Drive safely all the time. We'll see you next week. Maraming salamat po.